Welcome to the showdown between two iconic Daisy Dukes, Catherine Bach and Jessica Simpson. The original, Catherine, made waves as the ultimate Southern Belle in the hit series of the 70s, The Dukes of Hazard. And then there's Jessica Simpson, who brought her own unique spin to the role in the 2005 film adaptation. Facts First presents Catherine Bach vs. Jessica Simpson as Daisy Duke. From Ranch Life to Hollywood Catherine Bach was born March 1, 1954, to Norma Jean Cusera and Bernard Bachman in Cleveland, Ohio. She completed her high school education at Stevens High School in Rapid City, South Dakota in 1970 and briefly pursued a drama major at UCLA, where she earned extra cash by designing clothing for her friends and for theater groups. This video is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Did you know that hiring a lawyer for a car accident or an injury is actually really easy? With Morgan & Morgan, you can do it all from your phone in just eight clicks or less. As a true 21st century law firm, they've modernized the injury law process so you can submit your case details, sign contracts, and even text your attorney and legal team throughout the duration of your case. They can be your first recourse in the case of a car accident, and you don't pay any fees unless they win. So if you're ever injured in a car accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without having to leave your couch. For more information, you can go to ForThePeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 right from your cell phone. Bach nearly turned down the Dukes. As surprising as it may be, Catherine Bach's Daisy Duke almost didn't happen, despite ultimately becoming an iconic character. At the time of casting, Bach was not a highly sought-after actress, having been recently dropped by her agency. Her acting career began with a role as one of the children in a production of The Sound of Music. She made her first screen appearance in the 1973 Burt Lancaster murder mystery film The Midnight Man, where she portrayed Natalie Claiborne, the unfortunate co-ed who got murdered. Her next role was playing Melody in the 1974 film Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. When Warner Brothers called Bach in to audition for Daisy, a role they'd been trying to cast for a year, she was surprised they thought of her and almost turned it down, doubting her chances of actually landing the job. But with some encouragement from a colleague of her husband and a close friend, she went in anyway. Her reading resonated so well with the producers, she was offered the role and flown down to Georgia within two weeks. Her influence on the character went beyond her acting skills. When the creators of The Dukes of Hazard initially envisioned the role of Daisy Duke, they had Dolly Parton in mind, but Bach's own interpretation of the character won them over, and the character was reimagined with much of Bach's own style. In fact, Bach made all her clothes for the first season in response to the producer's initial wardrobe choices, which included a red and white checked poodle skirt, a white turtleneck, white go-go boots, and a blonde wig, which Bach found to be a horrible choice. The now iconic Daisy Duke shorts were also Bach's invention. At the encouragement of the show's creators, Bach posed as Daisy Duke for a promotional poster that ended up selling millions of copies, creating quite a buzz. The poster even caught the attention of Nancy Reagan during a visit to the White House, where Bach had gifted one to her former teacher who worked there. There's no denying how big of an impact Bach made on culture. Her portrayal of Daisy Duke was nothing short of perfection. In fact, during her time on the Dukes of Hazard, Bach's long and toned legs were insured for a whopping $1 million. In 1985, she was selected as the model for the figurehead of the Californian schooner, a great honor. Post Dukes of Hazard Career as the dust settled on the Dukes of Hazard in 1985, Bach's acting career took a back seat, save for a few B-grade movies and a stint on African Skies alongside Robert Mitchum. But she did lend her voice to the character of Daisy Duke in the 2004 video game The Dukes of Hazard Return of the General Lee. Despite being offered a cameo in the film adaptation, Bach and her former co-stars turned it down due to the raunchy, R-rated nature of the script, which they felt betrayed the spirit of the original series. Bach also made a guest appearance on Monk in 2006 and had a minor role in the comedy You Again in 2010. In 2012, she joined the cast of the CBS daytime soap The Young and the Restless, playing the recurring role of Anita Lawson. Bach's personal life hasn't been without its challenges, having lost her second husband, entertainment lawyer Peter Lopez, to suicide in 2010. She hasn't remarried and has taken a break from acting since leaving The Young and the Restless in 2019. 
where she appeared in 62 episodes. In 2002, she made a foray into the jewelry business and launched a line of diamond jewelry, which was made exclusively available at Debenhams. Most recently, Bach, who's now 69, has made appearances in TV shows like My Best Friend and Hawaii Five-0. Her last film credit was in the 2015 drama Book of Fire, in which she played the character Bibiana. Despite her relatively limited acting resume, Bach is forever associated with the iconic role of Daisy Duke, a character she views as a pioneer for strong female representation in film and television. As she once noted in an interview, Daisy was a competent shooter, driver, and all-around badass who stepped in whenever the guys were in trouble, embodying a tough and capable persona that still resonates with fans today. Jessica Simpson's Hot Take on Daisy Duke Jessica Simpson is a multi-talented celebrity who rose to prominence in the late 90s and early 2000s as a pop star, actress, and fashion designer. She became a household name thanks to her reality show Newlyweds, which documented her marriage to Nick Lachey. In 2005, she landed the role of Daisy Duke in the film reboot of The Dukes of Hazard. Simpson's portrayal was markedly different from Catherine Box. While Box Daisy was known for her intelligence, quick wit, and tomboyish charm, Simpsons Daisy was a more overtly sexual character, often using her looks and feminine wiles to get what she wanted. She also wore shorts that were even shorter and tighter than Box. Despite the negative reviews from critics, the Dukes of Hazard film was a commercial success, grossing over $110 million worldwide. Simpsons' cover of Nancy Sinatra's These Boots Are Made For Walkin' for the movie's soundtrack was also a hit single, and earned her a nomination for Choice Movie Breakout Female at the Teen Choice Awards. The film's detractors accused it of being sexist, racist, and homophobic, but it remains a popular guilty pleasure for many fans. While some fans of the original show preferred box portrayal, others appreciate Simpsons' unique take on the character. Simpson has also made a name for herself as a fashion designer with her line of clothing, accessories, and fragrances. She's also been open about her struggles with self-worth and mental health and has used her platform to raise awareness about these issues. She's been open and honest about the immense pressure she has felt to have the perfect body throughout her career. In her memoir, Open Book, Simpson revealed she started taking diet pills at age 17 after a record exec told her she needed to rapidly lose 15 pounds. This led to a cycle of dangerous dieting and pill-taking that lasted for two decades. Thankfully, Simpson has moved past the dangerous dieting methods of her past and now prioritizes healthy habits to maintain her figure. During the pandemic, she upped her fitness routine with the support of her husband, Eric Johnson, and their three children. She started by aiming to walk 6,000 steps per day and gradually increased that to 14,000, all while following a well-balanced diet. Bo Duke weighs in. In 2016, John Schneider, who played Bo Duke in the original series, was approached by TMZ and asked about his thoughts on who the real Daisy Duke was. After being shown several recent photos of Jessica Simpson wearing Daisy Dukes on vacation, Schneider quickly sided with his former co-star, Catherine Bach, as the only true Daisy. While he noted Simpson still looked great, he believed Bach had a unique kind of sex appeal that was effortless and understated. Now it's time to hear from you. Who portrayed Daisy Duke better, Catherine Bach or Jessica Simpson? Let us know in the comments section below.